Hey guys, how you doing? I just wanted to take you through how quick and easy it is to use the Power Pressure Cooker XL. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my pot roast just to kind of show you guys how to work it from start to finish because we never get time to do that in the commercial and on QVC. So it's really easy. All you do is plug it in. And with the Power Pressure Cooker, by plugging it in, that means the power is on. So you don't even have to hit a button. There's no power button. So your readout's gonna start out with all zeros. Today we're gonna make a pot roast. I wanna cook it for 40 minutes because that's how I like it. And it's really simple to do. So all I'm gonna do is push the meat button and then the cook time selector once. That automatically brings me to 40 minutes. In about two or three seconds, you're gonna see it cycle on. So what that means is the power pressure cooker is now heating up. And when it's heating up, that means it's in sear mode. So that means we can sear or brown our meat. And you know, some people like to do that, some people don't. You don't have to, I like to, it's that easy. So as it heats up, we're gonna just add our olive oil, just as you would in a regular pan. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my roast and I'm gonna drop it into the Power Pressure Cooker XL as soon as it gets hot. We're gonna get a nice sear on this and then I'm gonna take you through the rest of the recipe. All right, so now the oil is hot, I'm gonna drop my chuck roast in. And that's why we call it the Power Pressure Cooker XL because it's powerful enough to sear right in the pot. And when you can sear right in the pot, you know what that means? It means you only have to use one pot. You know what else that means? You really only have to clean one pot, and that's what I like. So we're gonna let that meat sear. We're gonna get a nice round crust on there. And that's gonna add a little bit of extra flavor. Again, this is a step you can do if you want to, but you don't have to do. I'll be right back with you, show you the nice crust that we're gonna get. All right, so we got a nice brown crust on there. Take a look at that. So we're searing, we got ready to go. So now, because it's a pressure cooker, there's really no any extra steps here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our ingredients, and then I'm gonna take you through how to put the lid on, how to lock the lid, and what happens when it's done. It's gonna be really easy, trust me. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add all of our ingredients right into the pot. Couldn't be easier. I posted this recipe online. You're gonna be able to see it right with this post, so don't worry about it. But here, I'll just tell you what I'm doing. I'm gonna add my onions and celery. I'm gonna add my carrots. I'm gonna add wild mushrooms today. Look at these, they're beautiful. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some potatoes. Now, because I'm pressure cooking them, I always cut them just a little bit thicker because they cook so fast, we don't want our vegetables to be too small, okay? Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our spices. I like to put all the spices in at once, mix them up, pour those right into the pressure cooker. We have our garlic, a couple of tablespoons. This is a little secret potion of uh, kind of salty, sweet, and sour. It's all in the recipe, guys, don't worry. Of course, you gotta put some wine in here. I'll be drinking that later. Then, all I need is my chicken stock, my beef stock, sorry, right here. I'm gonna pour the beef stock in. Some herbs, called a bouquet garni. You can look that up online. You can use that, that's all optional. Then what I'm gonna do, is I'm just gonna put the lid on, and I'm gonna lock it. Now, I'm gonna turn the pressure cooker around because I want everybody to make sure that you are in pressure mode. The pressure mode is the little circle with the dot in the middle. There's also, looks like a geyser icon. That geyser icon is to release it. It's the steam mode and it actually looks like steam. So as long as you're on the circle with the dot and those two arrows line up, you're good to go. Remember, don't forget, when you put your lid on, lock it. There's even a spot here that tells you that it's locked. Couldn't be easier. Now, if we go back to the control panel, you're gonna see that it's gonna start counting down when we achieve pressure. The pressure cooker knows everything. It knows when pressure has been achieved, and then it starts counting down all by itself. So after it's done, I'm gonna show you how to release the steam, and then I'm gonna show you the good stuff that's inside. So hang on, we'll be right back. So now the pressure cooker's counting down, and there's only seven minutes to go. 
So what happens when your pressure cooker is up to pressure is the lid locks on. I couldn't get this lid open if I wanted to. There's no way you're gonna open it. So it's loaded with safety features, you guys. So if you've never used a pressure cooker before, this is one of the safest ones you can get. And remember, as long as the lid is locked on and you're counting down, I only have six minutes left before my pot roast is done, you know that it's working. So this is what you want. So we're gonna come back in about six minutes. I'm gonna show you how to release the pressure. We're gonna do a, what's called a quick release. And then I'll show you the bounty that's inside. We'll be right back. All right, that was awesome. It didn't take that long. 40 minutes later, you could see the panel. It beeped. It told me that it's done cooking under pressure. Now I can release the pressure. Remember I said we're gonna do the quick release method? So I, I'm gonna turn the pressure cooker around just to show you guys. So right now, like I showed you in the beginning, I have it on pressure cooking. So it's the little circle with the dot inside. Now I'm gonna flip the switch. And that's gonna release the steam. So it's gonna take about, I don't know, maybe a minute for the steam to come out. And you can see, the steam is practically harmless. You know, you don't wanna keep your hand there or you know, too close down here. But you can see, it's not gonna ruin your house. It's literally just steam. It's gonna release. And then we're gonna be able to open the lid. So even now, if I wanted to, I still can't open the lid because the pressure is still inside. So as the pressure releases, the pressure cooker knows that, it's gonna unlock for us automatically, because everything happens automatically, and then I'll show you what we got. All right, so the pressure's out, you can hear it. Now, what happens is, see, now I can open the lid. So that's how smart the power pressure cooker is, it's that easy. Now I take off the lid, now we get to see what's going on inside. Oh yeah, look at this. Fall off the bone tender. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna take this guy out. Look at that. Take the other one out. And that's what I'm talking about. Now let's, what I like to do after I take all the meat out, is I just like, to, oop, that's fall, let's see that falling apart. It's awesome. This is gonna be so good. So now what I'm gonna do, is I'm just gonna add a little butter and cream. Again, all optional, you guys. You don't have to do this. Just gonna add a little extra flavor. You know, be creative. All right, take a look at this. Now this was done with the touch of a button in about 40 minutes. Look at this gorgeous stock. Look at the vegetables. They're not blown apart. Everything is still intact. And that's how easy it is to use the power pressure cooker. Now, if you wanted to reduce the sauce, you could do it. Again, this recipe is online. Everything that I just did, I gave you in step-by-step -step instructions. So I hope that you'll love the power pressure cooker as much as I do. And I hope that you'll go online and give it a great review. Talk to you soon.